Also tonight, as voting is underway for Ford workers, both the General Motors and Stellantis National Councils coming to Detroit now to vote on whether to move those deals to the membership. Mar McDonald live at Local 900 in Wayne tonight. Mar, those were the first Ford workers to be called a strike. That's right, and they're the first ones voting to ratify this deal. We've seen a lot of traffic going in and out of the Union Hall tonight. They have until tomorrow here at 900 to vote on this. You can feel the energy in the air. One thing's for sure, workers are pleased to move off the picket line and into the ratification process. We're very pleased to be voting on this right now because uh, we all felt anxiety. We'd never been through this before. I mean, last time the company was on strike was in 1976. And you're looking at 50 years later that there's another strike. Voting has been brisk here at Local 900. The gains made in this tentative agreement are nothing short of historic for the membership. The people are excited to vote. They're happy they're not on strike anymore. The weather has changed, as we all know. So they're happy they're not on the picket lines and that we have a good agreement. As Ford workers start their voting process, the UAW National Councils for General Motors and Stellantis are en route to Detroit as we speak. The Stellantis National Council will vote tomorrow on whether to send this tentative deal to the membership for a vote. GM's council will be in Detroit on Friday to go through the same process. This month and a half long strike is estimated to have cost the automakers nearly $3 billion. Back here alive, assuming that that Stellantis vote goes the way they think it will and it gets sent off to the membership, expect UAW Chief Sean Fain to update the membership live sometime tomorrow afternoon. We're live in Wayne tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Okay, Mara, thank you.